What is up my spooky babes and ghouls? So today we're gonna be filming a sun goddess makeup tutorial. It's actually based off of a sketch that I did. I'll put it right here on the screen. I wanted to go along with my moon goddess look, so that's what we're doing today. My brows may look horrendous right now because I don't have any brows, but also like I'm terrible at covering my brows. But I guess they look okay. I was gonna leave them like even worse looking than they do now, but whatever. Um, they'll just get covered up with makeup, hopefully. <laughs> okay, so I kind of want to look more bronzy for sure. So I'm gonna be um, brushing on some bronze. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly, Hill, Beverly Hills Rosewood Bronzer. Um, but yeah, we're using the, this Rosewood Bronzer from Anastasia. Um, of course, use whatever bronzer you have on hand. I'm just gonna brush this on. I might just like mainly like focus maybe more around my cheekbones. But just, I'm just gonna do it like really lightly, just, yeah. But we're definitely gonna be adding a, a more of a sun-kissed look later on, especially across the cheeks. I wanna look more sun-kissed, so we'll be doing that later, but I just wanna add a little bit more oomph to my, to my face. stand out. I was trying to cover powder but it just wasn't making it look any better. But I definitely look tan. This is how I look when I'm like when I'm tanning, you know, in the summer. I didn't go tanning in the summer. So that's why I'm extra white this year. Extra pale. But I was trying to like add some powder onto the brows but that wasn't really doing much. It was just kind of darkening the area around it. Maybe if I just go in a smaller brush. Because I don't want the this like brows thing to stick out a lot. I don't know. It's just this is just not working out for me. Whatever, I'll just leave it that because now it's just starting to get yellow, but now I gotta match it on this side. Okay, so next I'm gonna be doing the eyes, and I kinda wanna do like a kind of graphic liner, kind of look kind of something like Fury, that was like fire. Um, I'm gonna be using this KVD Vegan Beauty Everlasting, uh, what is this? Glimmer Bell in the shade Gold School. This one's really, it came out a couple years ago. Um, you're probably not gonna find this if you try to look for it, um, unless someone's like reselling it for like really expensive, but um, yeah, this came out a few years ago. Um, I would recommend like maybe like a really metallic gold eyeshadow would probably work best. You can mix it with a primer or something or a, what's it called? The end of May wrong. Yeah, I think an alternative would be like an eyeshadow mixed with like some kind of uh, base to like make into liner. But that's, that's, I'm just gonna use this. And I'm using this uh, Anastasia number 3 brush for the liner. And I kind of want to do something like flames kind of. So we're gonna try to achieve that. but I like that um they're creasing already and that's because I already added eye primer but I already know that this stuff creases because I've used it on my eyes before and it's just because of how thick it is it's gonna crease so you can't avoid that but anyway so next I'm gonna be adding some white um eyeliner onto my waterlines Okay, so next I want to attempt to draw some brows with this everlasting glimmer in the gold gold school. Yeah, because like in my sketch, like I have like really thin brows and I was imagining them to be gold as well. I mean, I could make them to match my wig, but I think gold might be best. This is like a whole gold makeup. That'd be really cool. So we're going to be attempting that, some kind of like 1920s kind of 
brows, really thin, really high arched. Um, hopefully that will help like make this look better, the situation better. If not, then I don't know what to do with that. I can draw like a gold circle on my forehead using this product again. Um, I got the inspo from David Bowie. Um, no explanation, but I think it'd be cool because I mean, uh, you know, a gold circle, the sun, you know, I think that would be really cool. brow color I just didn't like how the gold looked it looked too light and then I changed the shape just a little bit I just kind of removed it with really gently with the tissue and then went over it again I have some of the gold in here I thought that'd be kind of cool it's not like a little bit gold in the brow but yeah I don't know I just felt like it didn't go with the look so just completely forget about what I said earlier I think I like this a lot better honestly because it looked like I didn't have brows from a distance, but then, like, of course, when the light would hit it, certain angles, you'd see them, but I wasn't feeling it. I just really wasn't. <laughs> okay, so next, we're gonna be adding some blush onto the face, especially, like, the nose bridge and right here. I'm using this Tokidoki Till Death Do Us Part um, blush palette. It's like, a, actually, it's a little eyeshadow palette, but it's really old, um, so, like, any, any blush will work, any shimmery blush will work. I just like to use this with kind of like a shimmer in it. And I'm just gonna dust it across my face. more of a sun kiss kind of effect to it so yeah okay so next i want to add some freckles um you can use any eyeshadow you have like any brown eyeshadows or bronzers or whatever but i just grabbed this um brow powder duo from anastasia in the shade dark brown i'm diving into this brown right here and probably the lighter brown as well to add like a, a variation of freckles i'm applying them kind of like all over the center of my face and then blotting them out my finger and then i'll probably go back in and um, add some darker ones using the Lunatic Cosmetics Contour Palette and I've been using this thing for years you guys but um rip contouring I'll be using this the warm contour this time usually I go for the cooler contours but since I'm warmer today we're going for a warm contour of course you contour to whatever shade you want to um I'm just gonna contour my cheekbones and I guess my jaw so, yeah. Next I'm using the 
Anastasia Beverly Hills Dream Glow Kit. This is one of my favorite highlighter kits. Um, I don't use them often, but I really do like the shimmer, like the highlighters in it. Could very shimmery. But we're gonna be using, which is the most perfect name for this look. We're gonna be using the shade Sunshine. Most perfect shade for this look, and the name's perfect. And it's just a yellow highlighter. So I love it. gemstone on my gold circle um i got these from dollar tree they're like little i don't know if y'all can see those they kind of look like they look they remind me of like little suns they came in like this little packaging in here it says craft square i got them like in the craft area at dollar tree now i like to incorporate some more of this into like that's why i got it i was like oh this would be cool to use my sunglasses look but i really don't know i feel like sorry my voice Oh, I feel like if I add too much, I might just take away from the look, so I think that looks okay. I'm not sure if I really like it there, actually, to be honest. So we're just gonna remove that, pretend that was never there. Um, actually, what I think would be cool to get the, is to get the little pearl off in the middle and then glue it right here. Oh, that looks so cute. Yeah, so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna be doing it off camera. I'm gonna be gluing it on with eyelash glue. I think mostly everyone should have eyelash glue in their, kit, their kits, so... Yeah, just find these like little pearls. It, it doesn't have to be from Dollar Tree. You can find like little golden pearls, like maybe at like Walmart or any craft store. But um, cheapest bet is probably Dollar Tree. You can separate the little gemstones and the pearls from each other. So I, that's what's good about that. Okay, so next time I'm doing my lips, um, I was gonna use the gold um, Glimmer Val, whatever, whatever the heck it's called, this lipstick. But um, I was gonna use it, but also like it's gonna crease the hell on my lips, and my lips are like dry right now even though I have chapstick on but they're still gonna look really wrinkly and ugly so I just don't want that the look I think a cute simple like line look with like lip gloss look cute so first we're gonna be using the Anastasia liquid lipstick in the shade on mute and we're gonna be lining my lips Next we're going to be filling in the lip using the Anastasia liquid lipstick in the shade Sand. And next we're using the, the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the shade Summer Vibes. lashes off camera I used Enchanting Beauty Cosmetics lashes in the style Muse I added them off camera and I had earlier added the Anastasia Lash Bag Mascara I forgot to mention that but yeah this one like you guys know that of course you use any kind of mascara you want or even just wearing mascara is totally cool or whatever lash line you want to but I feel like something really small and minimal um won't distract the eye too much um like the details in the eye and stuff so yeah so I think something small would be great for this look but anyway, so I'm gonna change, put on some accessories, and I'll be back to you guys. Okay, so that is it for today's video. So thank you guys so much for checking out and watching it. I've been planning this look for a while. Um, I wanted to do a Sun Goddess and Moon Goddess. I filmed the Moon Goddess first since I already had like most of the stuff laying around and the crown was... I finished it earlier than this one. But um, this one I had to like... Whew, I, used, I had to paint like a bunch of these like little um, kebab sticks and... I got this dress at the thrift store. It's actually a gun sex dress from from 2000 actually. It's like a prom dress. I can't remember what the collab was. I said it on the tag. I had just saw it before putting it on. I was like, I had no idea it was a gun sex. And I got it for like maybe like six, five, six bucks maybe. And I, I mean, I love gun sex dresses because like, especially the ones from like the 70s, but those go for like, like stupid insane like on Depop. I find them like elsewhere. 
definitely look like my wrist stores. This is actually just like a belt, but it doesn't really fit me. And I had to like double, like, I had to like wind it around me twice. Um, but I thought it'd be cool to use as like a slash. I have some jewelry. Uh, I think I made a TikTok on how to make this, but the problem is I didn't film when I was hot gluing it. But I'm pretty sure people will get the point. <laughs> but um, yeah. I'm not sure if I will post it on, on TikTok or not. So, and I got this wig off of eBay. This is actually a lace a lace front wig. Um, my first one ever, so I'm sorry, you guys, if I didn't like, cut it right. Um, also, I know you're like, supposed to like, pluck the hairs and make it look more natural. I didn't have enough time to do that because I have class in a few minutes. So make sure you check out my Moon Goddess look as well. And also, my other Halloween videos are coming up this year. Also, make sure you check out my previous year's videos as well. Or just my channel in general. Please subscribe to me. Make sure you leave a like and comment down below, and also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Also make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook for more awesome content. So that'll be it for today's video, so thank you guys so much for watching. Have a happy and safe Halloween. Bye guys! <laughs>